हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ई से अकेडमी In this lecture, let us understand noise equivalent bandwidth. The noise equivalent bandwidth represents the frequency sensitivity of the filter. So, noise equivalent bandwidth represents the frequency sensitivity of the filter. If we say frequency sensitivity, which means the receiver filter will be tuned to some particular frequency, so. it has to be sensitive to that particular frequency to receive the signal and all other frequencies should be like noise so this process of selecting a particular frequency of signal to which the receiver filter is tuned is known as frequency sensitivity of the filter the frequency sensitivity of a filter or noise equivalent bandwidth can be given as bn is equal to pn not divided by sni let us call this as equation number 1 where pn not is total noise output power in terms of watt and sni is input noise spectral density this will be in terms of watt per hertz now equation 1 can be simplified as bn is equal to 1 by 4 rc which is in terms of hertz so now we need to prove this expression and we need to show that the noise equivalent bandwidth can be written as 1 divided by 4 rc so here r is the resistor and c is the capacitor to prove this let us consider a low pass filter with input and output spectral density so low pass filter with a transfer function h of j omega and input is input noise spectral density which is given as sni is equal to kt and output as output noise spectral density that can be given as sn not here figure 2 shows the equivalent circuit of figure 1 since we are considering a low pass filter we have written the equivalent circuit as a resistor and a capacitor connected in series and the output is measured across the capacitor so this is the rc low pass filter with input and output voltages the input noise spectral density can be given as sni is equal to k into t so let us call this as equation number 2 here k is the boltzmann's constant from figure 1 we can write the transfer function h of j omega in terms of input and output as square root of sn not divided by sni so we can write this as magnitude of h of j omega square is equal to sn not divided by sni therefore we can write Sn not is equal to magnitude of h of j omega square into Sni. We know Sni is kT. Therefore, we can write Sn not is equal to magnitude of h of j omega square into kT. Let us call this as equation number three from figure two. the transfer function can be written as h of s is equal to v output divided by v input so v output we can write it as 1 by s c divided by v input we can write it as r plus 1 by s c so we can write this as 1 by s c whole divided by 
एस सी आर प्लस वन डिवाइडेड बाई एस सी सो वी हैव टेकन एल सी एम फॉर द डिनोमिनेटर एज एस सी सो वी कैन राइट दिस एज वन डिवाइडेड बाई वन प्लस एस सी आर देर फॉर वी कैन राइट हेच ऑफ जे ओमेगा इज इक्वल टू वन डिवाइडेड बाई वन प्लस जे ओमेगा सी आर since s is equal to j omega so in this equation we have replaced s with j omega let us take magnitude on both side therefore we can write magnitude of h of j omega is equal to 1 divided by square root of 1 plus omega c r square if we square on both side we can write h of j omega square will be equal to 1 divided by 1 plus omega c r square let us call this as equation number 4 let us use equation 4 in equation number 3 therefore we can write sn not is equal to 1 divided by 1 plus omega c r square into kt so we can write sn not is equal to kt divided by 1 plus omega c r square let us call this as equation number 5 now we can write the total noise output power as pn not is equal to integration of 0 to infinity sn not df so let us substitute the value of sn not so we can write pn not is equal to integration of 0 to infinity kt divided by 1 plus omega c r square df we know that omega is equal to 2 pi f therefore p n not is equal to integration of 0 to infinity kt divided by 1 plus 2 pi f c r square df let us call this as equation number 6 now to simplify our derivation let us take 2 pi f c r is equal to x then 2 pi f c r square is equal to x square now if we differentiate f with respect to x we get 2 pi c r df by dx is equal to 1 so from this we can say f is equal to dx by 2 pi cr so now let us use these two equations in equation number 6 so we can write pn not is equal to integration of 0 to infinity kt divided by 1 plus x square into dx by 2 pi cr so from this equation we can take kt divided by 2 pi cr outside the integration because it is constant so we can write integration of 0 to infinity 1 by 1 plus x square into dx therefore we can write p n not is equal to k t divided by 2 pi c r so if we integrate this term with respect to dx we will get tan inverse of x so between the limit 0 and infinity since integration of 1 by 1 plus x square is equal to tan inverse of x we can write tan inverse of x in this equation between the limits 0 and infinity 
so we can write p n naught is equal to k t divided by 2 pi c r so tan inverse of infinity minus tan inverse of 0 so here tan inverse of infinity is pi by 2 and tan inverse of 0 is 0 therefore p n naught is equal to k t divided by 2 pi c r into pi by 2 therefore we can write p n naught is equal to in this equation we can cancel out pi and we can write k t divided by 4 c r let us call this as equation number 7 let us use equation 7 and equation 2 in equation 1 therefore we can write b n is equal to p n naught divided by s n i so p n naught is k t divided by 4 c r and s n i is k t so here we can cancel out these two terms and we can say b n is equal to 1 by 4 cr so this is the expression for noise equivalent bandwidth so this is one of the important question in examination they will ask what is noise equivalent bandwidth derive the expression for the same this is about noise equivalent bandwidth hope you have understood the topic thank you